Factsverse presents Whale Won't Let Go of Diver Until She Sees Why Whales are absolutely amazing creatures. Their sheer size alone makes them incredible. Many people will board ships every day just to watch whales. They wait on boats all day hoping to catch a glimpse of one. What would you do if you were in the middle of the ocean and you were approached by a whale? What would you do if it wouldn't leave you alone? Well, that's something that marine biologist Nan Hauser knows something about personally. Nan Hauser is a marine biologist who has spent a large portion of her life monitoring and researching ocean life. She specifically focuses on whales and dolphins. These creatures have been a passion for her her entire life, and for 28 years she took part in some pretty risky aquatic expeditions. She'd also gone on countless dives in the Bahamas and the Crook Islands. It's her mission to turn the territorial waters in the South Pacific into a safe haven for whales. Most dives were uneventful, until one day she experienced something alarming and entirely out of the ordinary. Nan is one of the leading whale experts in the world. She's been featured for her work countless times on the Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, and National Geographic. Nan lives on Rarotonga, which is the largest of the Cook Islands and there she spends most of her time studying ocean life. The Cook Islands are made up of 15 small islands, and the waters surrounding the islands are home to 21 species of dolphins and whales. There are also 16 types of sharks swimming in the waters, along with about 600 species of fish. And that gives Nan plenty to study. On a typical day, Nan anchors the speedboat and dives into the water to explore. Nan was in the water like every other day when she noticed something heading straight towards her, and it was huge. The creature was approaching so quickly she didn't have much time to think. As it got closer, she realized it was a huge humpback whale. These whales can grow to be 60 feet long, up to 40 tons. Nan estimated that the whale that was swimming towards her had to be about 50,000 pounds. She had no idea why the creature was swimming toward her, and she couldn't help but panic. Although Nan is used to swimming with many sea creatures during her studies, she's never encountered this specific type of whale. She'd already studied marine life enough to know that it's not a good idea to antagonize creatures in the water, particularly large ones that you have no experience with. She wasn't really afraid of the whale itself, and she made sure not to upset or frighten it. The last thing that she needed was to be attacked by such a huge creature. Nan managed to remain calm for a while but when the whale came to the surface for air, it got much closer to Nan. And that was when her heart began to race. She wasn't sure what this whale wanted with her. Nan did what she could to avoid making contact with the whale. She didn't even want to interact with it in fear that it might become aggressive. She was only equipped with her snorkel and her camera when the whale continued to behave strangely. Rather than swimming right past her, the whale was heading right toward her, and he wasn't stopping. He continued moving toward her until she was on his head. She couldn't figure out what the whale was trying to do. Why did he want to keep her on his head? Nan tried to keep it together emotionally, even though the whale's behavior was causing her some severe anxiety. Nan was an experienced marine biologist. She always has the animal's best interests in mind when she studies them, when in the ocean she makes sure not to touch the whales she is studying unless they are sick or stranded on shore. She often writes rules and regulations about whale harassment. She doesn't want people to harass the whales that are in the ocean, but this whale turned the tables on her. He was harassing her. She found it to be quite ironic that this whale was doing what she teaches humans not to do to the whales. As the encounter continued, Nan started to fear for her life. This giant whale was rolling around under the water. It started nudging Nan. When he tucked her underneath his fin, she knew there wasn't much that she could do except hold on for dear life. He was lifting her to the surface with him from under his fins. Nan is the leader of the Center for Cetacean Research and Conservation, and she's usually not afraid of marine life even this size. But on this day, she was fearing for her life. She had never seen a whale behave like this in all the years that she'd been studying them. The encounter lasted for almost 10 minutes, but for Nan, it felt like hours she was helpless and making her peace with the fact that the whale was about to kill her. If she tried to get away, she worried that he would ram her too hard or hit her with his flippers. She knew something like this could break her bones or cause internal injuries. She knew that if he held her under his pectoral fin, she would drown. 
the whale continued to pursue her, pushing her around with his mouth. Nan says that it was one of the scariest things she had ever experienced in the water. Nan knew she had to try and stay calm. If she showed any fear, she knew the whale would probably pick up on it and that could be dangerous for her. She prided herself on having a close connection to the creatures she studied, but she was very intimidated by the whale and its behavior. She tried to keep a clear head so that she could figure out how to get herself out of this situation safely, but she still worried that her encounter with this whale would eventually be fatal. Nan was not alone in the water that day. Her team was also there, but they knew there was nothing they could do to save Nan from this 25-ton whale. They were just as helpless as she was. The cameraman who was out in the water with Nan that day was new to filming sea creatures and he didn't realize that the whale's behavior was even strange. Nan, however, understood that it was strange and she had no idea why the whale was behaving this way. The crew realized how serious things were and they stopped using the aerial drone that they had been using to shoot footage. They were worried about Nan now and they didn't want to film her death. Nan wasn't ready to give up just yet, though. She tried to keep eye contact with the whale as a way to try and bond with him. She thought that if the two bonded, he wouldn't hurt her. He kept pushing her away from her research vessel, though, and that made her believe that her chances of surviving the incident were diminishing. She was so busy focusing on the whale she didn't realize there was something even more dangerous lurking nearby. By this point, Nan's body was getting sore. She was getting bruised by the whale's aggressive nudges and barnacles. The whale was taking a lot out of her when she noticed another whale heading toward her. This whale was also behaving strangely. It was slapping its tail onto the surface of the water. She couldn't figure out what was going on. Soon she noticed another shadow coming up from below the water. She thought it was a third whale but quickly realized it wasn't. Humpback whales are known to migrate to the waters of the South Pacific to breed and raise their offspring during the winter months. They often travel in packs to protect their babies. Nan knew this, so she didn't think that it was too unusual that there would be another whale nearby. There was a time when these whales were close to extinction, but thanks to new laws, their numbers have slowly grown. The packs they're traveling in have grown over the last few years. Nan was overwhelmed by these whales surrounding her. She tried to put some distance between herself and the whales so that she could swim to safety. And she finally got a little bit of space so that she could see what was going on in front of her. She saw how the third creature was moving its tail fin from side to side. Whales move their tail fins up and down. Nan knew of only one creature that moves this way, and it was a creature she did not want to encounter. When Nan realized that it was a tiger shark heading toward her, she froze. She knew it was too late to escape from the shark, and the fact that it was heading right for her was horrifying. She was sure she would never get out of the water alive now. Tiger sharks are deadly predators. They can grow to be up to 25 feet long, weigh close to a ton, and they're known for being man-eaters. Unlike great white sharks who often abandon their prey after one bite, tiger sharks are ruthless. They don't give up. When Nan spotted the tiger shark, she was no longer worried about the whales. She knew she was a target. She had to get out of the water immediately. The only thing she could do was swim toward the boat and hope that she made it there before the shark reached her. She and her cameraman started to swim as fast as they could to the research boat. Fortunately, Nan and the cameraman did get to the boat safely. She laid on the boat's floor, bruised and battered, and finally realized what the whales were doing. Nan realized after getting onto the boat, the whales were not trying to hurt her. They were trying to protect her. Humpback whales don't usually prey on other animals because they are omnivores. They are known to protect other species of whales from danger, though, along with dolphins and seals. She just never expected that a humpback whale would intervene to help a human. When Nan was safely on shore, she revived the footage from that day. After watching everything play out in front of her, she realized the whale wasn't being aggressive toward her. She believes the whale was actually trying to warn her that there was a shark in the area so that she could get away. She says that even if the shark wasn't planning to attack her, the whale wanted to be sure she was safe. Shortly after Nan and her team were all on the boat, they started to head towards shore. As they were leaving, Nan saw the whale who had been protecting her. He came up out of the water and sprayed them with water from his blowhole as if to say, you're welcome. 
Nan says she's never experienced anything so incredible as well as terrifying in her entire life. This whale would not let go of her, but then she saw why, and she'll always be grateful to this whale. If you like this video, help us out by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos.